Hi friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to draw ceilings in Revit. Let's start! Another key element that we need on a building are ceilings. Remember that we use them to host certain elements, where the most common ones, especially in apartments, are light fittings. To create a ceiling, we click on this button at the Architecture tab, then we are faced by two options, Automatic Ceiling and Sketch Ceiling. Automatic Ceiling is the option select by default, and it simply works by dragging the pointer over an enclosed area, then a red boundary shows up, and that's the moment to place the ceiling by just clicking once. Ok, nothing seems to have changed it. It says here, none of the elements are visible in the floor plan. Actually, ceilings are not displayed on floor plans, and for that reason we have a section on the project browser for ceiling plans. And now you can notice the ceiling on the top left room, it's displayed here with the grid. However, it's possible that when you try, you don't see anything here, because if I click on the type, some of the ceilings display a grid, but that's not the case for generic and plain ceiling and generic is usually the option by default. Let's add ceilings to other two rooms. For example, this one and a small one at the left. To exit the command, simply press escape. Then, if I want to select the ceiling, it's the same way as selecting a floor. If I just click here in the lines, it doesn't work. I only select the grid lines instead the full ceiling. These grid lines are useful to place elements on the ceiling, for example lights, but that's something we will focus later. Now, to select the ceiling, place the pointer on a boundary line, then press tab several times until you find it. Then click. Now, to select the other two, I can repeat the same process, holding control when I click to select the ceiling, or click with the right button on the selected ceiling, go to Select all instances to basically pick all the similar elements. And of course, this works for any kind of elements, it's a very important tip to know. As in this situation all the ceilings are in the current view, I click on the first option. Now the three ceilings are selected. Warnings. If there is a ceiling and we place another one on the same place, I get this warning message. There are identical instances in the same place. This results in double counting in schedules. And this is not what we want, so we have to be careful. We should press Ctrl Z when this happens to undo the last action. But suppose a situation that we put a plain ceiling before and we don't remember. Then, if I add a ceiling of a different type, I don't get any message but both ceilings are still overlapped. For this reason, I recommend at least when we are new to Revit to create ceilings with grids. And we will not have this kind of problems. Ok, this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and also I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, Cadim Black, if you aren't a subscriber yet. Thank you and I'm sure we will meet next time.